Hello everyone and welcome back. So for today's video we'll learn how to configure uh, SAML protocol for the for authentication to WASA dashboard or OpenSurf uh, within Kikalock. So let's get started. First thing, uh, a WASA can be integrated with like uh, several IDPs or identity, identity providers uh, and we will need mainly these parameters to, to get it to work. So let's jump in. Let's go to, I have here, kick lock. We'll, first thing we'll just create, uh, I'm using the default term, which is master. So you can create your own rails if you want, but yeah, we'll just use the default one. Will be like waza entity, whatever, ID one. And the protocol will be SAML. Just save this. So the next thing I would enable sign assertion and disable client signature required. And here I need to add, let me grab this. I have it somewhere. I need to add my my WASA dashboard. Uh, your eye which is uh, let me just go ahead and grab it I have it somewhere um, I don't think I have so I just type it that's fine so it's gonna be issued yes I have my WASA dashboard in here so everything under this should be valid and here I can add like any new name to the to the SSO URL name IDP initiation and then go here should add this URL and then for the logout binding should, should be the app was save this next thing would be create a role and here i'm not going through all the roles but we'll just use the administration one then mapper create this should be role list and then the name could be like whatever was a role here this one is we'll, we'll be using it it's gonna be our roll key, roll key. Yeah, and mainly that's it. And the last thing I would generate all this information here. So here I will have the ISP, uh, SP metadata, and also. and also the IDP metadata. Okay, so for the parts of Kicklock, we should be done. And let's move now. Here I have was a dashboard and indexer, indexer running here. So first thing I would just copy, I should copy the IDP metadata here and SAP metadata here. So, and the path is this one is ECC was an indexer and make sure that we have the owner set to was an indexer was an indexer and the, for the for the group and user okay so let's yeah let's get it now since I have this guy here let me take this this um, cat should remove the protocol. This is my this is my IDP. Okay. I didn't get it here. Change it. Let's be get it here. And then get also the SP metadata. So it's gonna be guy here remove the 
protocol from here to here and then Then the next thing would be uh, changing the config file. This is the config file. So here my entity, entity ID would be the name of the client that we have created, which is this guy here. This guy. Um, Okay, so just gonna change this one and this is the file where I have the IDP metadata and the same goes to the SSP SP metadata and this is the URL of my of my WASA dashboard and this is where I have my my key clock realms uh, entity ID we can check find it in the this is the entity ID. See, you can get it from here. Now I need the the key. Okay, I got the key. Let's add the key here. And for the for for the roles key, it's the roles that I created in the mapper. You can see it here. Uh, if you go to the mapper, you go here, you see the roles, okay? So having this, we should just now push the configuration in, to the WASA indexer. So you, to, to push it, you just use this command. I will add, I will add everything, the commands and the configuration to, to my blog post that I, have, that I will add to the, that you will have in the description of the video. So let's push this. Okay. Okay, that seems to be good for the for the for the WASA indexer. Now the next thing would be adding the configuration to the to the WASA dashboard. So I already added it. So you will just need to add this. Uh, the authentication type would be SAML and whitelist this and uh, endpoints. And then one last thing would be changing the routes of the SAML for the logout to work. So if you open that file, you go to logout, you normally would have this path and you should change it to the to logout. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so that's it. Let's just restart my WASA dashboard and status. Just to make sure it has it, is, it started. Okay, it seems to be listening. So let's try to navigate to my dashboard. So that would be okay. I already have a session here, so uh, let me just go to like there. Open incognito. So if I go admin admin, I'm able to authenticate. Everything seems to be good. I can log out. Let's go do another test by creating like a new user in in our in our uh, log identity provider so let's say Wally uh, save this is important I should give it the admin uh, also let's give it credentials let's say whatever Wally and password then go back 
here and try to authenticate with my new user, which seems to work. And that's it. I, I hope you like it. Thank you. And have a, have a good one.